Hello and welcome to my showcase of the new build that I've been playing for about five days now on the one month hardcore league. Um, the general idea is very simple. I wanted to make a, a character with all the aura nodes, with all the minion nodes, and just take it from there honestly. So, so far it has worked out very well. And the only downside so far is that we have very little survivability. Um, I'm only at 4k life here and not even 3000 armor. That is why I went to uh, get the Lionized Remorse Shield to kind of balance my physical defense out a little bit. And I'm still working on this. So most importantly, keep in mind, this is not a guide. This is not in any way a guide yet. I will release a guide once I'm reasonably happy with uh, the build. Right now I wouldn't recommend building it exactly as it is. It does work, of course, and it is very, very fun. It is very, very strong. But if you want something for the long term, then I would not recommend building it as it is right now. So let's see what's happening here. Basically, with these strong auras, for example, Hatred. Hatred adds 58% extra damage to my zombies and my uh, evangelists. So that is a lot of extra damage. As you can tell, my minions are actually uh, shattering a lot of these regular mobs. Um, I use Convocation just as I imagine almost every summoner does these days to quickly teleport all the minions towards me. Oh, Cartographer Strongbox, hello. Um, I use Flash Offering, which you will probably not see me use right now because it is simply not needed. But if I do these mobs die even quicker than they do without it, it is really just a thing that I use on bosses right now because my DPS is absolutely off the wall. Um, I actually don't think I have done this much damage on any build that I've played. I can imagine crit builds are probably doing more damage than this, but you have to consider this is a minion build. So I, I don't know much about summoners, so excuse me if this is not impressive, but to me right now this is fairly impressive. Um, I kill Piety, Dominus, Massey, Lesval, all of those bosses in a matter of seconds. So that's fairly impressive considering the risk factor is almost none because the minions are just tanking everything so all you really have to do is do not get hit by environmental or area damage and that's not that hard so far. I haven't really had issues with my survivability even though we're only at 4k life, but uh, let's, let's get hit a couple of times here so you can see what that looks like. Except these mobs do not actually want to hit me, it seems. Oh, here we go. That's a couple of melee mobs. Let's just get hit here. No, I'm sorry. They don't want to hit me. I'm trying here, guys. I'm trying. My minions are giving me a hard time. These guys... Okay, whatever. I mean, well, I just want to show you guys, this This build is fragile, even though we have all these meat shields. Uh, if you do get hit, all I'm saying is y you should really be careful, especially if you do high maps. I've, I've done a couple of 75s, 74s, and I've quickly realized that if I do get hit by physical damage, it can quickly become a problem, but as long as... As long as you're playing with awareness, it shouldn't be a problem even on hardcore leagues. So yeah, like I said, it's not a guide. Um, I will show you guys some of the gems though. So we have here Raze Zombie with Multi-Strike with Melee Physical and Melee Splash. We have the Spectres, which I have snapshotted a little bit like a scumbag. 
So we have the, the Spectres, which is the Evangelist, two of them, with Spell Echo, Minion Damage, and Faster Casting. And I feel the Evangelists are most likely the best Spectres to use, because they gain benefits from the Spell Echo, which is an absolutely brilliant spell, support gem even. And they gain benefits from a absolutely insane Hatred Aura, which adds 58% cold damage. So, that's kind of a big deal. Um, supposedly the Flame Curtains from Solaris add most likely more damage, at least so I'm told. But they do not gain any benefits, uh, any benefits from my Hatred Aura, so I don't think they actually end up doing more damage. But I may or may not test this. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the Evangelists right now because they also do their little bubbly shields, which I might eventually enhance a little bit with a 5 link. As you can see, I don't even have a 5 link in my chest. Um, like uh, The character is only 5 days old, guys, so uh, nothing, is, nothing is perfect. This is all makeshift gear that I just picked up for a couple of chaos each. The chest was, I believe, 10 chaos. I uh, 6 socketed it. There you go. Uh, the shield was 1x, but it's not mandatory in any way. Uh, it's all pretty flimsy. Couple chaos gear. Nothing, nothing fantastic, so... I'm really excited to see what this build looks like in a couple of days or a couple of weeks from now. Uh, especially with level 20 gems, that's kind of a big deal. If you want to do Aziri and stuff like that. And I'm hoping I can do Aziri with this build. So yeah, I think that is actually all for now. I'm just gonna shut up until we kill the boss here. I hope you guys enjoyed the little demonstration so far and in a couple of days I will probably release a guide once I feel happy enough with how the build is going. And yes, bosses die very quickly, as I have mentioned. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration. And I will see you guys in a couple of days. Have a good night.